Hello and welcome all. Welcome to the C500 Mark II versus the C700 Super 35 sensor test. In this test, we'll be testing out low ISO, we'll be testing out noise reduction and data usage. We'll be comparing the raw versus MXF codec. Like you can see in the first shot, we exposed both shots at the base ISO. This allowed us to compare how the color space reacts to higher ISOs going up forward and how um, effective the raw light codec is. And as you can see, at the bottom of the image, both images are exposed at 800 and the top image will be exposed one stop further in terms of ISO increment. And if you look at the skin tones, well, obviously we can see the amazing Canon look we all come to know and love. But from 3200 ISO, if you can see, vitality begins to drop out of the skin a tiny bit and progress forward. But that's not the case for the raw clip because even at, as the ISO um, goes up, you still get more of that 12 bit data, even at 6400. And it's super clean as in the level of noise you get, even at this level, it's, um, it's unprecedentedly low. And this is um, one of the few things actually that blew my mind actually seeing um, this happen. From, from 12,800 ISO, yeah, it keeps on pushing forward in in that manner. It keeps on pushing forward, but obviously we could see um, certain consistencies in the way the sensor reacts to the image and how it's reduced the noise present. Even at 512 ISO at C log 3, which was what we exposed this at, which will actually give us about 14 stop of dynamic range, because C log 2 gives us the entire full 15 stop of the entire range, of which I was not really interested in seeing that extra one stop of shadow details though for the test sake. So we exposed with some black soft effects um, for both cameras and you could see how pleasing the image look um, on the model skin, on the talent skin and what we just did was just get some RGB light on the background to create color contrast and some top soft light with some side key to really see how um, stressing the sensor would look. This is the C500 Mark II's footage here and you can see the extra vitality that, that punches out right through and it's obvious that the um, amount of 2 gigabit per second data that exists in C500 Mark II, it's really coming through with those extra data. So as you can see, the extra color bit depth and shades in the skin, as opposed to the C700 Super D5 sensor um, XAVC MXF codec that's a little bit washed out. Although, if you push up the gradient and tweak it away, like we did in the beginning, you could see that they would all match seamlessly. But yeah, there is no doubt, hands down, that the RAW is absolutely solid. At this stage, you're doing noise reduction to see what usable footage you could get when you actually get into scenarios or tight corners. So we're working on the MXF codec and at 2500 ISO, you can see the color space begin to thin out and the skin is going to look washed out. And you can see the grains as apparent in the shirt. But when we apply some light noise reduction from DaVinci Resolve, it becomes as clean as though you shot it um, on the base ISO. And this is actually an interesting information to know because we have to stress test these sensors to push them to their breaking point but right off the back when c500 mark II comes in and you see its own footage it's a whole new different case entirely because you just start seeing that vitality in the skin how you could get that richer tones that richness that actually just comes through in terms of the color and this is where the extra edge of raw i know people complain about the data rate yeah it's too huge it's too large but this is the extra raw goodness you get. You just see how it be able to hold all those raw information. So even at high ISO, that's above this, where it's really noisy, this is at 25,600. You get to see that noise is there, but as soon as you clean it up, you can see all those richness coming back. You can see that vitality is still there. You could push the grade to the extreme. And this was just lightly color corrected for the sake of the test, for you to be able to understand um, or get a your head wrap around a couple of things but you could see how the raw just really punches out all those shades of brown that's in the skin the shades of blue this is at 51,200 um, um, ISO which is like the real highs 512 right and you can see the grain and noise there and this is on raw you could even see some patterns going on 
But as soon as you clean that up with DaVinci Resolve Noise Reduction, you could see how it amazingly out of the bank, not as equal as it would be at 100, but you could see how amazing that you could literally get away with a lot of things in, in case you need to like, I don't know, expose that file. Although 6400 is the ISO I feel quite comfortable with. Then we did this overexposure test whereby we exposed both cameras at the um, T200. So we actually take it away from the base ISO just to thin out the color space more because it's obvious that from what we've seen that the higher you go, the color space just keeps getting thinner. So the color information that you get is not as strong as before. And there is no denying that because you will see it here in the codec. This is where we actually text the codec and see how effective the raw codec is that Canon has just created this whole new raw light codec. And as we push the, because we expose our eyes so at 3200 and push the light one stop by opening the lens on one stop, two stop, three stop. Um, further if you look at the top images comparing them to the bottom on both images where we have the c500 mark ii on the left of the screen and c700 on the right of the screen you begin to see how especially if you look at the saturation of the pink color walls and also of the green color walls behind them you begin to notice how um the saturation drops down on the mxf codec not being able to retain the vitality and the skin begins to clip it loses that whole shades of brown that it has on the lower um this is also evident in the raw but it affects um to my eye here it affects more of the mxf on this moment i'm looking at than on the raw and it loses that shade deepness of brown it's almost like the color space is being thinned out so yeah that this it, this just um, points to the give and take that happens when you try to expose at high iso so keep that in mind when you're exposing which is why it's always recommended you expose at the base iso so the next video would actually do dynamic range tests where we would do over stop over stop exposures on the stop exposures compare it with the c300 mark ii with the c700 slow motion would also there, there's a whole lot more coming with the canon sumeri lenses and we'll see how that also play too and yeah i hope you had fun from this test until next time improvise adapt and overcome